streak, guys. I have audio working today. I noticed that it wasn't working in last episode. It had to do with um, Windows actually updating and it messed with the audio driver and I tried fixing it and then somehow the recording software got all muddled up from it. So it should be fixed now. I tested it before recording today, so it hopefully won't be all messed up. I, I, I honestly don't know why Windows decides to mess with so much with the feature updates and stuff it's just like can you just you know leave it alone <laughs> it's like everything's working fine and then you come along and you update the program and it's like or the, the the software and it's just like everything's broken and apparently my mom didn't have problems with it but i did so it's just like okay i don't know but stuff happens and you know you make best what you can do with it <clears throat> then you carry on right all right, so <clears throat> oh, took a sip of tea and now my throat's uh, a little bit dry. All right, so I've been mining out this area. We need to move the fence back uh, one block or so. So I wanted to put some dirt in here and we need to move all the tree farm over one block this direction. Uh, reason being, um, oh, you know what? If we move this all forward one, because there's three blocks here, then it'll be pretty much even-ish on all the sides. We don't really need to do that. Plus, we would have extra room for a path going this way, so just realized that <laughs> don't necessarily need to go out one more, but ah, we'll get some extra resources, I guess, from mining this out. Uh, what is that? Coal. So we got some coal. That's good. I think they're just mining out something here. What is this? Limestone deposit. Okay, so yeah, it's stuff that we always need. So, all right, but uh, I got them working on this. We'll probably not fill this in. If anything, we'll probably build underneath it, underneath here, and build something in there if we need to, like a cellar or something like that. I'm not sure what I want to do just yet, but. Um, We'll keep our options open. And there's ton there's gonna be tons of room all along here, so we can always make use of it for storage or something like that. Um we've been planning on making a warehouse anyways, so I mean that would be a thing. And he just locked himself in again. <laughs> he did that last episode, that's funny. Yeah, how about you uh get yourself unstuck? No problem.
right, so we got a uh, option for a new settler. So it looks like um, it's not one that's going to cause a raid, which is perfect. Uh, hunger comes calling. So let's see what their stats are. We might get a little bit of information about it. So carpentry level 25. It's not something that they're into, but uh, they're into animal handling. So basically like breeding, well, I wouldn't really say breeding, but taming, uh, tending to the animals, uh, stuff like that. Uh, farming a little bit, construction a little bit, and mining a little bit. Uh, we only know about a couple things. Um, roughly, they're, they have very little uh, tailoring experience. Why we would know about that, I have no idea. And uh, they have carpentry, um, pretty good carpentry. We don't know their perks either, so uh, their age is 26. And height is one. I don't know what that would be actually like foot wise um 186 centimeters i don't know uh the reckless roofer was their background so i think what we'll do is we'll we can always use extra help we'll definitely accept them and what is it to feed a, a person right i mean they're obviously in need of help so all right, so we'll do that, and that means we need another house built. Uh, the religious alignment, what was that? I didn't quite catch it. Uh, oh, they're apparently a cannibal. How about that? Alrighty then. Um, that could be explained why they were <laughs> hungry. Alright, uh, let's see. We'll go ahead and um, set up their jobs so we can still put them to work. I ha I've had cannibals in my village before and it hasn't been a problem. So It's just they don't get the perks like they would with other food. So uh, Cooking cooking level 10 apparently. So apparently they've been a cannibal for a while. <laughs> Alright, so uh, smithing will probably disabled. Not high in smithing. Tailoring is not that good. Uh, research, not great. Artists, same. We'll do those two. Uh, animal hun husbandry will probably set to a high priority. We'll set that. These two things. Okay, so that leaves just a few other options. So, cooking's okay. We can always use an extra cook. Mining.
Alright, so I got quite a bit of stuff done. Uh, we got a house pretty much built. There, I still need to put the bed in. I mean, that's kind of important, but... And the brazier's not fully set up, but we should have enough resources to build it. They're currently in the tower um, for the Oak Baron on the second floor. We have a total capacity of two per religion, so... That's more than enough uh, from what our current develop, like our current stage is. The more settlers that you have, the less likely the a new settler will uh, enter your town. It, it makes it a little bit easier to manage uh, that way as well. I have noticed uh, compared to having all these people around doing all these tasks and stuff, and it's just better that way from past experience with working on it. I've had ten settlers before. And it does get quite busy and trying to manage all of them. So it's completely understandable why they have it set up that way. Um, okay, why are you just kind of staring at the wall? Where are you going? Harvesting animal. Now oh, she doesn't know what she's doing. She's like, I think I'm going to go harvest an animal. Not really in the mood for uh, animal meat, but... Yeah, we'll do something like that. Oh, and I've been slowly working on mining this part out. So we can finish that wall section. And hopefully they'll build that part in time. And then we can mine this part out along here. And then we'll put the wall in for that part. And then we can start finishing mining that part out. Uh, after we have the wall situated. At least the outer wall part. Um, the inner wall um, for the roof part. Uh, we can always wait until we build that or whatever, but the important part is the defense part. And once they have this part built, we can tear down that part as well. So and that will give us a little bit more room as well. Um, yeah, and then I moved the tree farm a little bit over. So it's um, even now. Uh, one block on these sides and then two blocks on the top and bottom. So there's a lot more room. And we still have way too much wood. I'm trying to use up as much as I can, but it just, um, we have a lot of wood, which is good. It's good for building. Um, a lot of our torches and stuff don't use it though. So I don't know. We'll figure something out to do with it. Uh, once we get some other things unlocked, like I'm not sure. Oh, right. We still have to figure out what we wanted for research as well. Uh, let's see here. Probably go with something um, that we can use that's level three, so we can't use that. So, 
<laughs> as you can probably tell by the music, there is an insurgent. In, like, basically, they're coming to kill us. So, <laughs> uh, yeah, so we're probably going to want everyone just went to bed. Well, most of them, at least. Uh, we'll probably uh, barricade the door. This will probably be our last battle for this little wall, no doubt, because they don't really come during the winter. And we'll probably have this section built during the winter, so... It'll be interesting to see how it turns out. Um, this time around, though, it doesn't look like they have a lot of bows, if any at all. I'm not seeing any bows over here, so... Um, Murderous Thug... You know, Ruthless Martyr... Fierce Martyr... Three Martyrs... So yeah, it doesn't look like there's any of them that would basically have any of the... Um, what do you call it, the uh, bows or any range of weapons. So it should be a pretty um, mundane battle to next episode. So I'm going to save here. I'm not going to do anything until definitely next episode. I will tell them to build this wall soon, uh, given that everyone's going to be going to bed soon anyways. We'll basically call everyone up in the morning. Well, when I get up, I guess. And not when these guys get up, when I get up. And, uh, yeah, the, our door would just be busted down by then. Um, yeah, so we'll do that. And then we'll um, get everyone situated, everyone in their positions and stuff like that. And we'll basically peg them off pretty quickly. So, outside of that, if you are new to my channel, don't forget to subscribe, comment down below, rate the video. And I will see you guys next time. Thanks for watching. Peace out. Mm -hmm.